Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, open mic. Um, we're going to talk about pillage. We're going to talk about the brute. What people have seen when they're trying to build with the new uh, with the new armors and uh, new weapon, the knuckle duster, and uh, any other questions uh, you may have. Uh, Derpy quit. I don't think so. He's here. Well, well, that's that's news to me. I mean, I, uh, I don't <laughs> well, know well, where that's you, from. Well, you said on Wednesday you were going to quit if uh, you, once your money was gone. But you said that before you bought, like, what, another 1,000 or 2,000? coins or something, yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't bought 8,000 <laughs> coins in the last day. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and say uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Saint. Good day, everybody. Aren't we all so pleased we got the brutes instead of the lionfish? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, and uh, yeah. Captain Lockheed is asking uh, Derpy since it's your turn next if you scrapped your brutes yet. Well, uh, you, you'll just have to wait and see. I never <laughs> thought I'd say this, but uh, I, you know, yesterday I was missing the lionfish target real bad. I wanted that <laughs> thing back. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, have you auto the? Uh, um, has anybody auto the uh, the one ten target? I, after, I have auto after the change. I thought that was yes. Derby's job. They uh, modified, I, of course. I have I have autoed it once they fixed it. Okay, it, uh, well, it completed the target. Okay, how much damage? With a, with about an hour and fifteen minutes. Wow, that's not bad. Um, oh, yeah, that's excellent. Time. That, that's actually a better, much better option than I thought it would be. Okay. Three, three or yeah. four ships, is that Derby? That was four. Four. Okay. All right. And, um, huh. And did it, was it fully equipped with armor or? Yeah, with fully armor? equipped with the, with the lionfish armor. I have not okay. put any of the new armor on yet. Okay. Okay. That's actually. If, uh, if, if you're a player who is, um, refitting the new armor onto your brutes and bragging about how well you can do the targets that you need to get the points to get the armor for the brutes. You're a little uh, messed up someplace, but uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Cause I have been autoing because after the Wednesday show, because I I'm going to auto half of them. Um, so I've been autoing, you know, but very stupid. I admit but I've been auditing the Damocles, which is instant repair either in the dock or on the water uh, most of the time. But then once I start autoing, I get an hour and a half of damage each time. So the difference between going between instant between, because I'm getting about, well, I guess I'm getting ahead of this. So, well, because I get about 30 minutes um, of damage when I drive the 110, but now an hour and 15 versus, yeah, it's it seems like the... Uh, the much much better one to auto. Well, so, especially uh, if Derpy hasn't got the new armors on, it might be a bit better with the new armor as well. So I don't yeah. know that the new armor makes a lot of difference. Well, yeah, I agree. It does. It does, and it I'll, doesn't. I'll have to do the math on that and get back to you shortly. Well, it, it, it's a combination of things, but yeah, it is. It reduces total damage, but I don't know if it reduces. Well, we'll we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that because. Uh, the Saint has the Everest armors, which already have the additional explosive. But I am not, I have one ship with five armors, five of the new armors, and then one of the lionfish. And then I have uh, another ship with uh, all lionfish armor. And I'm only getting about, and I'm, you know, I run them stacked. And I'm only getting about 15 to 30 sec seconds difference in damage. But it's reducing the total damage because I'm running the lionfish armors because of the additional explosive damage that are added by the armors. So, uh, KB, how are you? Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, and Smarty? Hello there, my friend. I'm just okay. waiting to see Derpy try to blitz the target now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, don't worry. I've got, a, I've got a spreadsheet that shows me exactly how many uh, times I have to hit the stuff. So, okay. uh, if I run short, I know how much I need a blitz. Okay. Yeah. You're. Uh, are you gonna have a? Um, are you gonna have a, a, a YouTube show with the uh, bl blitzing? Bl uh, bl blitzing down. Bl blitzing uh, pillage. Well, bl uh, bl blitzing math yeah. at least. Like, how, how, like this is how much you need to spend because I think there's some people out there that would watch it because, you know, the people that have. Uh, let me see. You know. Uh, you know well over a million 
I'm not really sure why they're blitzing, right? Well, uh, just not, to not, be not, number yeah. one. No, not a million, but it's a hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, okay. And peg leg. Well, it's a happy Friday afternoon. It's snowing here like the to beat the band. I'm telling you, but I might have to take some issues with my friend Derpy there. It seems like he was calling me out a little bit about this. You have to get the thing to get the armors to say you're doing well. Mm -hmm. After all, oh, I, no. nice, <laughs> I put that nice post together saying, you know, it doesn't doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. Here's the budget man's way to do it. And on that note, my friend Mickey and his boys, now they're looking for the knuckle dusters. I think their intentions are a little bit different than the rest of us. But they're looking for knuckle dusters because they want to go rough some fuck some fellas up. Yeah, yeah. The knuckle dusters are honestly my lowest priority of, of what's the future prizes, to be honest. Um, they feel a little bit like the uh, Oramakila, or as we used to call them, the Golden Eagle. Um, that they do. Yeah, and they have that they have that feel to them. If you're pressed for points, that's that's really honestly about the last thing you need to worry about. Yeah. So um let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide. All right. Um yeah, this is for the winter fang. Yep. So that got Hey, fixed. how long how long has the have you had a bug in the bug fixes? Um, uh, a long time. Seven, seven yeah. months, eight months. Well, I have uh, seen it for the first time today. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the fly has been there for yeah, like I guess about eight months. Well, sometimes I, I move. I, sometimes I move it around. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's um, it's been in that position for at least four or five months. Well, so. I, I guess I should start watching the show. Yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. Um, Alrighty, uh, another click. All right. Um, we got the raid next week, which we'll get to in a second. Um, there was a pop up um, that showed up, and no additional information were prov was provided um, in the CM diary that could not be. Uh, uh, ascertained from the pop-up, so I didn't bother uh, transferring any of that over. Uh, Brutal Instinct, which is going to be a TLC that is going to be for the Brute, we assume. Um, and Outpost 14, everybody. So, um, looking forward to that. Um, and, uh, yeah, doesn't it always seem too soon when we get a new outpost? Well, well it keeps us short of money. What? Well, <laughs> uh, Kixai wants the money, of course. That's a good reason. Yeah. And then, the, you know, because the thing that's most disappointing for me is that we are going to run in the situation where we don't have our armor refit weapons specials all our bonuses as far as the impact our build time and Plus the uh, fleets are going to have increased weights and we're not going to make it until the shipyards updated and the dock the, the dock. Uh, yeah it, it, uh, the dock it, rather yeah the the dock stuff will be interesting i mean we always see that on the siege raid so um we'll see what they say about how many ships we need but the it, the part that feels to me is we we got warehouse upgrades and portal upgrades and a bunch of stuff at the six month mark. And if I have to upgrade my portals twice a year at like 20 days a pop, that's like a, a third of the year spent just upgrading portals. Well, especially if they're damaged. Yeah. That's it's not a fun one to do. Well, who's who's not got damaged portals at this stage with the new that they conquer out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just wish they'd have just glide right through and continue upgrading until the repair because it's not concerning. You got to put them up, you know. Uh, it's just not not something I'm a big fan of. Um, and um, you know, tear, no, nothing else really all that useful uh, with the up um, new Forsaken mission VXP weekend. Do we know what the uh, Crucible TLC is for? No, that's that's uh, the burning shit. 
Is that is that the one from Brutes? We assume. No, that's the brutal. Instinct. It's br brutal instinct. We. Assume. I mean, yeah. I mean, what's the evil instinct. we're getting? The purifier. The, the one half everything. That's the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The purifier. That's a crucible. Purifier. That's in bounty. Sorry. No, yeah, so that would probably be for the purifier because it's two weeks. Yeah, that's, that's my yeah. bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um... So yeah, again, we'll have a uh, what eight build tokens, uh, five upgrade tokens, and some of the tech. Um, weapons and yeah. So um, yeah, and then from the shadows, the rest of it's pretty irrelevant. One more click. All right, Shadow Stalker. Um, so the new earn the new uh, tier eleven siege hall the the purifier perch thrower um, which is going to be the non-limited weapon radioactive battery 2 and viscosity regulator 2 um, so yeah we're getting two specials um, right now we are getting the uh, what's what's the name of the uh, the siege slash conquer defender uh, special Charge, we can plasma? only get five of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of it? Charge Plasma Ray, I believe it was. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. so I far, think. so far we have not seen a new engine. So, and I think we made it pretty clear to them that we didn't want them in the FM because of the problems it caused. So, I believe um, CM Hank made a declaration that there won't be an engine for it. Yeah, I thought I saw something a post. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, so just make sure you have the uh, the Aries. Is that the name of it? Yeah. The uh, yeah. So make sure you have uh, the Aries at this point or some point um, soon. You can get them in in pillage. I'm sure, you can get them in the raid. Um, are they available elsewhere? Uh, FM. Uh, or TLC right now from Perilous Blade. Okay. All right. So uh, if you're low on those, those are places to potentially get them. If you don't, uh, if you don't have an, another five of them. Um, so uh, there we go. Um, any more uh, thoughts on Shadow Stalker? Okay. Nope. All right. Um, Sorry, I had my mute on. Um, only that I am intrigued by that background artwork that the, the name kind of blots out. That view of an underwater city with like an exploratory type sub going by or whatever. I'm curious what that all is about. Well, it's got to be it's Scourge, but yeah. But because, yeah, I mean, the, the Purifier obviously is going to be a surface level thing. It's not going to be yeah. a submarine that you're dealing with, so... <laughs> Yeah, unless you're attacking, because the scourge always like pop up. Like so the maybe you're... <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, the name we will no longer speak. I swear to God, if we have a goddamn <laughs> lionfish that shoots out a concussive missile, it's gonna—I don't know what's gonna happen. Your head's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. worry, I mean, don't worry. I believe the crucible, the the purifier is a surface ship because of the. Limited weapon. It's yeah, we do, between the yeah we radio, we haven't yet to see a radioactive sub, but yeah. Um, the the stalker, I believe it was. No, 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 no. Wait, uh, what was the other submarine fish? Um, the submarine fish. I'm not familiar with that one, but um, okay. Well, um, let me check. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll move on. All right. Pillage. Let's move on. I remember. I remember. Strike. 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 Okay. Was that was that firing radioactive? Uh... Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was, launches uh, that launches. Then, yep. And they completely nerfed it or changed the yep. target, and it became useless. Okay. Yeah, because it had the Okay. The oh, I forgot to remove the uh, um, thing over the one ten. The one ten is much improved. Um. And uh, as uh, Jerpy um, told us earlier, it's you said an hour and fifteen to auto the one done with uh, 
With lionfish armor? Yep. But we do yep, know uh, Philip me... is very good at autoing. Well, that was probably with the steelheads on there. But uh, yes, I am very good at autoing. I've been practicing. <laughs> I have only actually autoed, I've only actually autoed one of the 110s. Oh, okay. So, uh, so you, you got you, a sample size of one. Yes. Yeah, so so uh, the, my next follow-up question was going to be, what was the best angle to do it from? And oh, whatever know. angle that was that you did it the first time is the best angle, correct? I had no idea. Do you, you don't even remember what angle? No. You, okay. All right. So we have no idea on this one. If anybody in chat or anybody uh, here with us on the panel um, has done more experimentation with this, It'd be good to know what is the preferred angle because um, you can enter from multiple angles on this target, which would impact, uh, could potentially impact your uh, repair time when you're auditing this target. So, uh, thoughts on that? Um, all right. But yours is already at U3, right? No, but uh, what angle are you taking? And I'm assuming you're autoing it because 43 minutes seems uh, a little long to drive it. Um, okay. Um, he's at U3, uh, he's hacking. Yeah. I, I, I know. That was, that, was, that was a little bit of a joke in there. So, you know, I'm sure Peg like got it. But, um, all right. No <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh 112 so um any thoughts on the target so where is everybody at yada 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 112 are you know depending on where your damocles fleet is at which should be reasonably upgraded even mm. if you're not instant repair on the map you're instant repair on the dock for the most part or you let your tank take it all and you do a whole boatload of them and go do something else um and you know, I, like I said, I did a post on the on the TFC page for the sky, kind of like the sky isn't falling. Here's what to do. If you yeah. don't like me, I had no armor zone at brute, so obviously it was going to be awful for me. Yeah, um, yeah. And I, I just didn't want to spend the tokens on lionfish armors ahead of time. I saved them, so I went out and ran a whole boatload of those one twelves. Got the armor, threw it on, posted my builds, posted my results, and said, "Okay, you got something you can work with." Boom. Boom, and then Derpy came in and criticized you, right? That's right. Yeah, Derpy came in and said a bunch of stuff. <laughs> the cow comes in here and starts shooting his mouth off, like, "Oh, here I am. The priest has arrived." You know. Is, is, is this your alt, uh, Derpy? Uh, is what my alt? Jesse, uh, Jesse Grover. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, just making sure. All right. That is something I would say, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's why. I... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I just did some quick math. If you go from my build, the lionfish armors, to the new ones, and you put all them on all your ships, which is obviously not possible, your damage goes down by 35. percent I'll have yeah. to let you know what that number is for uh, going from peg leg with no armor to like all the new armor. In well, a, in a second. and obviously you can't go all new, but you can. You know, I did two on e two of each on each hull across. Well, you could do it on one ship. Oh, sure, you could yeah. on one ship. Yeah, that's you true. You could do it on one. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it target can, on one uh, ship. You can fit that fully with the new armors. Yeah, and then, like, we, t I think, we, well, we still got slides up here. Let's move forward, because we have a slides on um, what fits um, with with these new armors. Um, all right. Um, I brought this up in the, uh, uh, right at the beginning of the show. Um Personally, I put my priority. I'm getting the Cynthian scale armors, the S2X and S2M first, um, so I can refit them on. Then I'm going for the Consecrator Thrower, and then I'm going for the Charge Plasma Array, and then I'm going for the Knuckle Duster Rockets um, based on priority and um, and whatnot. So. And and the ability because we have tokens to refit the brute um, with the uh, with the armors uh, and have it be relevant for pillage. Um, anybody else have any other thoughts on the on the order? Because well, the, the rockets just... the rockets aren't necessarily essential given that you can only get five of the bloody things in any case. So 
and they're fucking you know, expensive. Exactly, and and it's probably not going to make a huge difference to um, to your we, damage we, in any we, case. Not not five of them. If you yeah. if you could get yeah. ten, maybe. But. And we're killing the targets pretty quickly anyway. It's it's not. The it's time just it takes to kill the time. That it has, I believe. Yeah, but it's more so that they're going to keep scaling up the targets, so eventually you're going to need the bloody things. But, you know, they, they're just out of tune with how much they're asking for some of this shit. Yeah, yeah. But that, I mean, that, it's, I it's, 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 it's the same as the Orma Keeler, the Golden yeah. Eagle. It's, you know, it's the it, same price. It was always yeah, but at the end of the day, it? why? Um, you know, if if this was a an Armageddon type weapon that five of them was gonna kill everything in sight, yeah, you could you could understand them being forty five thousand. Yeah, but when it's only a minimal upgrade of what you've already got, you're paying you're paying a double premium on the bloody things. Yeah, yeah, you are paying a fair amount. Um and they will stack nicely with the uh uh the Cynthian scale armor because you have a, a additional uh, damage, uh additional what well, well, let's go to the next slide. I think it's it might be them next. Uh nope, it's the scale armor. Uh go on more and then we'll come back to this one. It should be the next one. Okay, the next yeah. Nope. All right. One more. One more. I forgot I had all this stuff in here. There it is. There it is. All right. So um, the splash increase. Yeah, you get a splash increase of five or twenty-five percent, and then you get like a sixteen percent increase in damage. Um, they're not difficult to put on. They're. Um, I can't remember if this was a fit or a refit. No, yeah, they're only about an hour and a half when okay. you're refitting them. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a uh, not a refit. This is just a build. So you know, it doesn't take long to put on. Um, yeah, what a, what I did when I was refitting, I was putting three of the armors on and a couple of these, and it came in about ten minutes under the day. So I was just using the day day token. Okay. Because putting four armors on a ship was a day and three hours or something like that. And I just wasn't going to waste that three hours to try and get them refitted. So, yeah. And so, and it, but it feels like we kill the, once you get in range, fucking all the time it takes you to get in range. It feels like it kills the targets really quickly. Yeah. The, the only thing I've found, and I, I haven't really, I don't think five's probably enough to, to come over this problem, is when you come to those big clusters, if you're really trying to kite them closely, mm -hmm. you may leave a couple of, of the turrets at the other side with two thirds damage or something, with a third damage right. left. Yeah, I've seen that too. So the extra splash would, would solve might that help you Might help you solve that problem. I don't know if the five is enough. Um, only having five rockets at the moment, but that, that might be a benefit in the future. Or a Hellfire Heathens or something like yeah, that. Yeah, might give you even more splash and a bit of extra damage might might solve that problem as well, yeah. Okay. So I'm not saying don't get them. I, I'm just saying uh, if we can go back Yeah, I'd to get them last yeah, if you got yeah. the points available. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Now, um, I don't know whether it's my sector or not. I've just been trying to hit a couple of FM targets, and I've got bugger all on the, on the screen. I've got yeah, a couple of 212s, a couple of 202s, and a couple of 186s. That's all that comes up in the locator. I did see something in Discord yeah, asked just in the show that said they're not spawning properly. So, I, uh, uh, obviously, the 194s the one that's missing at least it's uh it's funny because i asked the cm and said hey the 194 is not spawning you know like eight hours ago you know what i've heard back not exactly. nothing 
But he's busy. He's busily answering questions. He does that every day. Of course, day. of course, Diligent, <laughs> diligently. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right after his morning coffee. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. We're uh, we're getting to that hefe. I've made a few visuals for you. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So you know, it's it's all good. He hasn't responded to me in like three or four months. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, all good. Uh, yeah. Well, if that was eight hours ago, they still haven't obviously fixed it. Because I made sure I did a refresh just in case it was my end, but certainly nothing, nothing's coming up. Yeah. Um, did we see uh, Jerry Gamer's video? Um, I don't. I didn't see it. Does anybody no, know what? I, have no, I haven't it, seen yeah, it either. Yeah, yeah he, he's changed his build up yet again. Shockingly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, it helps when you got up. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, we can't oh, bash oh, corners oh, anymore, remember? Uh, I got uh, like a thousand. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. On what hall and how so? Um, um, um let me like, let me pull it up and find it cuz I don't have it handy, but I'll I'll come come back to me on that and I'll have it for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm assuming with the 136 speed, I'm assuming he's uh this is for the brute to outrun uh Oh, 20 minutes on a 112. 112, so that's the other one. Yeah. No, it's, I, it's, the Dan, the, one, the it's Irishman, the, one, the Dan O'Cleese. The 110, he's doing in his video for 18 minutes, 24 seconds with the, the better steel heads on it. Uh -huh. and, uh, I'm looking to see what the build deal is here. Is he using a, uh, a V rocket or V, v mortar? Um, hold on. Okay. I got to slow this down because it's at 300% speed. I've been thinking about using the S um, S cannon. It gives five percent combat speed, whereas the V Morg is seven. But uh, your range is not affected by using the cannon, so you can still auto if you choose to. Okay, um, he's got. I'm looking at his countermeasure ship. <coughs> he's got two of the new armors on it, four lionfish armors, evenly split, and he's he's added the countermeasure. Um, Subaquatic on it for for um, what do you want to call that? Uh, projectile speed uh -huh. and, the, and the countermeasure reload. He's got that in the build, that along with the petro system, and um, he's got a thirty percent combat speed added from. Um, oh, yeah, it's a little charge, charge capacitor. Bank. Yeah, charge capacitor thing for a thirty percent <laughs> speed boost on that. On his, go to the next one, please. Uh, sure, I slowed it down too much now. A couple of new rockets. And same with the isolated charge capacitor. Yeah, he, he's got that. He's got that on them all. It looks like as he went for that thirty percent combat speed boost to that special to make him very fast. Well, you're going to outrun any of the, a lot of that splash based stuff when you're that fast. Yeah, you're yeah. just sacrificing some reload because uh, he's dropped the um, uh, the cluster warheads three off of these things. Huh. Yep. Interesting, interesting move. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's what he's done with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but as soon as things change, he'll have a completely different build. Yeah. Well, very possibly. I mean, he's got the financial freedom to to do these kinds of things uh, at the drop <laughs> of a hat if he feels like it. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to the next slide. All right. Um, I think there's one more click here. All right. Uh, and I should have included the Everest Armors. Um, uh, before the show, me and uh, Saint were um, talking through potential builds as it relates to armors on the Brute. And. Um, I really think at this point, if you're going to mix and match armors, after what I've seen so far, I think it should be the Everest armors as opposed to the Lionfish armors. Because, like I said earlier in the show, I have five armors on five of the um, S2Ms and S2Xs on one ship. And then I have all of the, uh, um, well, just the uh, the lionfish armors uh, on the right, 
Um, I have not. I just all of those. And it's about 30 seconds difference in um, the actual time uh, that I, I get for repair between sh between those two ships. Uh, so the most more important thing, once you reach a certain level of uh, um, survival, is, is not the survival; it's the ex uh, the damage, the explosive damage and pen versus penetrative damage, which is useless on the Brute. So um, that's uh, and then uh, balancing everything together in regards to what you can fit on the ship. Uh, one more click. I put this uh, together for Wednesday um, and I'm not completely certain that at least currently having six of the new armors on a ship is the best thing. I think it's probably uh, what do we decide, Saint? It was you could put four. We, you uh, could put four on, and you could have two Everest armors, mm. and still still have all your weapons, and still yep. have cluster warhead three. That's yeah. what I did with my uh, my two damage dealers that I armored up. Yeah, as soon as you start going to the lionfish armor, though, it becomes an issue, right? Because mm. there's a big weight difference there. Yeah, and I don't think we're gonna see. Um, you know, with the, once the survival gets to this level, you're not really seeing the you know, you know, seven hundred percent versus eight hundred percent is different, be way different between a hundred percent and two hundred percent. Um, so, and with the with the weight limits, um, we're gonna have to wait and see, but um, that's the way I'm I'm sort of leaning. Um, is um, is to is to put the Everest armors on um, instead of the Lionfish armors for those ships that have the uh, the new Brute armor, the S two X and the S two M. Um, it feels it feels you know it feels like it makes sense to me as far as um, as we escalate in survival numbers, we get diminishing returns. And as those returns diminish in regards to the impact of survival, we're more likely to take advantage of the increased damage and um, the time to kill on the turrets goes down, even though it's really short at this point. I mean, don't you think it's, you know, I mean, basically. Yeah, we, I, I kill these things like. It feels like before I even, even like fired more than two projectiles per ship or per yeah. weapon. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sort of at a loss as far as like what the full meaning of this is, um, as far as like why they put it together this way. I, I'm a little bit of a loss. Well, when we also look at, and I know we haven't got it yet, U1, that's going to give us a bit more splash and another 55% building damage. So we yeah. okay, they're going to obviously increase the armor, but you're going to be killing them quicker, even quicker. We're going to be dealing a lot more damage, let's say. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time to kill, yeah. The, if you keep, yeah, I mean... That's yeah, when the whatever you're killing is going to be harder to kill too. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's it It's going yeah. to do more damage to you as well. Yeah, and it depends on how they, you know, they set up those ratios as far as how much damage you're taking versus how much it, uh, your time to kill. So during that period of time, while the the tur your target turret is still still alive, or you know, so I don't know. Do we have an answer here? I don't. I don't know what the answer is to be honest. Yeah, I, I, for, I, I for right know. now, I. I, I'm thinking that left-hand build, you know, because you don't have enough armors for everything. So uh, that's what I would do. The left-hand build, the one that's overweight? Ah, got me there. I was saying this and that <laughs> with, the, with the Everest armors. Okay. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, yeah, I, would yeah. I would go with the left-hand one with one each of the um, Everest armors. On yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm very tempted by the right-hand build. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I mean, once we get to that point, because we haven't even reached that point because um, uh, we don't have enough armors to really do this. You know, because we only yeah. have uh, 12 armors. Yep, there's a, you know, one in the chat. Uh, okay. I got a little bit of my idea. And and Josh, I I did uh, send that picture along here. If we're gonna, we may get your build up or not. I don't know. Hefe, it's I sent it to you. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not radically different from what we're doing, but okay. Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> all right. Go ahead, everybody. Well, I mean, it's what we kind of saw out of um, uh, Jerry as well, where he's, he's got countermeasures on, or he did at least, I didn't go back and look at his build, but he used to have countermeasures on all the ships, which was probably overkill. But when you get in a weight situation, if you, you know, want to change one of them out, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards playing around with um, going light on one of the M armors and seeing if I can slip in one of those speed cannons on it and get a little more combat speed and see how that plays. Okay. You could probably do that on the right hand build, couldn't you? Just put an extra because they're very, very light. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, I did this on Wednesday before the conversation I had with Saint and, you know, as far as using the Everest armors and seeing what the impact of me having five armors on one ship, five uh, brood armors, one lionfish armor, and then having uh five lionfish or six lionfish armors and no brute armors really didn't matter a fuck lot um the difference was i was reducing the total time i wasn't you know total time to repair but the difference the actual impact of the armor as far as defending my ship seemed to be minimal more the impact was i was increasing the damage that i was doing to the targets so um you know, like Derpy and um, I think it was KB or the Saints saying that they like the the left hand side, um, but two of those armors would be um, would be the Everest armors and not and not the now. Large, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, we don't really need to reload too much. If you take that off and throw on speed upgrade, how's it going to be going? I or 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 you go to the right hand one, and you put on your D thirty five S. Yeah, but uh, you know, I, do we even need the cluster warheads at all? I mean, that's not the limiting factor in the target for me. I'm I'm tempted well, to try I, it. I, with I, the, I, I think your time to kill is going to go way down if you want to run. I don't the map. think it will go way down. Okay, it, it will so decrease for sure. Yeah, so you're so going to go from around this. You're going to go back up to about a second, aren't you? Nah, well, let me let me check that. I mean, because it's a five second reload, you're going to have your normal four hundred percent, so you'll be down at one second twenty one point two five. And then what else have we got? We got no, 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 no. It's not going to be one hey. because the defile reloader adds reload. Yeah, that's and, got what one sixty. Um. I'm not in the game. I'm just. Uh, uh, so I've got it here. I'll, I'll find out. Yeah, it's exactly 160. 160, so. yeah. So if I go down to that. Hey. Let's see. I got a little bit of an idea. It's just crazy, but it's using the Siege Rockets B, 100B, I believe, for the extra speed if you want. Yeah, I mean. Is it different than the D35S, which is like goes on instantly and get, yeah, provides does. five five percent um, increase in um, in combat speed? Yeah, or you can also try the the Siege Mortar B. That's ten percent. Yeah, but the Siege Mortar and B it's, it's uh, 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 up your distances. Yeah, it is it give you a yeah, it'll give you a range ring that's way out in front of what the rockets do. 
if you want to see the the range of seventy two with the rockets, I suggest you with the Siege Rockets one hundred B. If you want speed, if you don't, probably for the damage dealers, you can go for the recondite rockets, which reduce reduce the reload of the of the ships, I believe. I don't know if that really is going to matter. You're going to be on them so quick and you kill them so fast. I don't know if there's a lot of value in that play. Yeah. Sorry. It's just a couple of ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, some of these things, it's just a matter of matching everything up as far as losing this, gaining this, and, like, what works out properly in the end is, I guess, the, the answer here. But, so um, on that right hand build, you can put the D35S on, and it goes up by two combat speed. So you're not really getting much combat speed. Mm. Is it going to make a big difference? I'm not sure. Yeah, because we have you... the, the damage diffusion system too, which is providing um, 35 splash. and it's helping you with splash damage reduction. Don't forget. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might be a little bit. I swear to God, if someone says that word one more time, <laughs> <laughs> damage diffusion. <laughs> you're what? Jeff? You're what? What are you gonna do? No, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my my line fish. I'm gonna scrap them. <laughs> okay. If someone All says right. splash damage, whatever that that was. Um. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's a balancing act until we see what, what happens next because they may make the turrets much more difficult to kill next time, right? And they may keep the damage the same or they may up the damage and make them is easily... We can't know until we see the next target, you know, like which way to turn on all this. My guess is all of the above. Everything will be more difficult. Yeah, but do they, oh, okay, okay. Do they double one and then only increase increase the other one by fifty percent? It, it, it'll make a difference as far as how much damage you take at the end of the day. I am I am interested as far as uh, um, I am interested as far as uh, Derpy. Do you want to do you want to uh, auto a a, a one uh, one time? Yeah, my Everybody Problem believes that it. Is, is, is my my fleet's dead. You know what's uh, funny? If going, uh, it, going it, to happen, uh, go ahead. Um, for the brutes TLC, make you use the brutes. <laughs> that would be funny. It's definitely funny, but it would be funny. Okay. Uh, Saint, do, do you want? Since uh, I, I'm assuming that uh, uh, Pegleg uh, sniped out that. Derpy's, uh, you know, Derpy's uh, fleet. Do you want to run through, or uh, as, long as, Derp, as long as Derpy's going to send me the coins to re to repair, <laughs> nah, I, I can do it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, 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 uh, actually, let's let, let's go through a couple more, and then we'll, we'll do that. We, we um, uh, oh, okay. I can do a one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you want me to? Do you want me to but screen share no, Hank's uh, CM diary? Oh, who, we could do that. We could do that. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, um, <laughs> I, right. full, full disclaimer, I did do a little um, artistic embellishment of a few things here, so I've created oh, some, uh, oh, some visuals that, that go along with that. Uh, oh, and I didn't go get it. another beer and take a so, leak. I, uh, you know, now I'm... So I'm, you're not going to be here for uh, for knowing this, so um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just going to read through the words here. <laughs> Okay. And um, uh, I feel like I need to stay around for this. Yeah, so, you, you uh, probably should stay around. You know, so okay. I'm just going to read through the words. The words are the only thing that's his. Everything else is not. And I've taken full liberty with that. All the images I'm showing. So, all right, all um, right. go for it, man. Go for it. Well, so, so he starts out by saying, uh, you know, he just wants to take this opportunity in the CM diary, the part of the where we usually see what's upcoming in the game that next month or used to a few years ago. Just wanted to take this opportunity to share some insight with you on my daily routine. Every day starts with coffee. A lot. And you all know what comes after coffee. A big old, well, I'll let you imagine that one. Well, then next time, you know, it's, uh, it's time to check on forums, Discord, Facebook. I review all of the team's private messages I receive on all three platforms and do my best to answer questions. Apparently, he's been working really hard on Hefe's questions because it's been like three three to six months, so they must be pretty important. 
address concerns and gather the uh, information that the game team may have missed. I've also taken the opportunity to put a few tabs up there that he may, may or may not have been visiting. Anyway, it, it, it does take a while, but he is very happy to answer all those questions. Lend us back to oh, Discord whoa, 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 to see, whoa, see whoa, what's wait, transpired. Wait, wait, <laughs> where, where does he say what the game team may need, missed? May need, it says. Yeah, oh, need. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I was, uh, that, that was, uh, that was taking liberties on both sides to say oh, what the game team might have missed. Mi okay, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I don't remember you saying the word miss there. Anyway. You, you did. Okay. Can that we go through the tabs as well? Um, oh, no, that's fine. Are these some of your favorite ones, ones Derpy, are they? Yeah, some of those these tabs are, are highly entertaining. <laughs> you know, these are these are not my tabs. These are a, a hypothetical. Um, they're, they're just 10 tabs you might open at the start of your workday. <laughs> That, that's all. Anyway, you have to go back to Discord in the forum to see what's transpired in your absence. While you have trust in your jail guards, you like to review as many channels as you can to gain more information and feedback for the game designers. I think I saw one this morning that says the game is full of clowns, so I wonder if that was transpired or not, but uh, whatever. Anyway, then you go back to Discord in the forum to see what's transpired. Did I put that there twice? I sure did. <laughs> Well, that's somewhat funny. That goes our next the whole slide. thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Our next slide is that uh, Hank reviews all of the support tickets. So uh, I don't know how one person does all the support, ticket, support tickets, but it, the next sentence makes it sound like two people tackle as many tickets as we can per day. No, they don't actually they tackle do. it. They just strategize how they're going to tackle it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the player experts did most of it. Ha, bloody well, ha. You know, that's a very good question. Very good question. And um, well, it's also the time of day that he, he picks on his coworkers. Usually, by the way, I've done me. That's interesting. What kind of harassment you want to call that? I got no idea. <laughs> Probably a funny harassment. Uh, that's, yeah, you can go with that one. And uh when you remember, you have to have lunch with a capital L. So I've assumed some avocado toast or I, I don't know what's going on. And after you have lunch, you probably have to drop the kids off at the pool if you catch my drift. And then, uh, then you repeat that cycle a few times. In the meantime, several important meetings and reports and uh, servicing the Battle Pirates players to the best of your ability. So um, he's very excited to do that. And the uh, passion that we all exude for this game motivates him daily so thank you and then there's a little uh comic strip that he wanted to share so if you were wondering you know when we get the brute flagship the brute upgrades when what the prerequisites are for outpost 14 um well at least you know uh what time of day our rcm does different things so I've got to remember to send, send my support tickets in the morning because that's what he's looking at them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it has to be after he's had his coffee. So. Coffee though, yeah. But before he uh, he sends some memes to his coworkers. <laughs> and uh, hopefully he's past tab number two at that point. But uh, that's just me. <laughs> Ouch. That's all that was going to be said. Well, I, I think that's probably enough of uh, enough of that, unless you want to to look at the the cross buns panel some more. But uh, well, that along with the fact that everything he told us was stuff that had previously happened or we previously knew about, it was a particularly mean, informative CM diary this month. You mean you can't read the release notes every week and see the the, the one bug fix they did this month, the three bug fixes they did this month? So copy and pasting the three things you've already did and already announced aren't helpful. Oh, it's it's particularly helpful, especially with my okay. outside. Yeah. I, for, I forgot what I had already read, you know. So. And I especially like how the, how bug fixes are going in game game improvements now. <laughs> so that's nice. Well, I'm putting. Are you talking about me? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. If you're there, um, I, I you, took me you longer. Can't hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. 
Okay. 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 Um, I I did the the build that I was trying to get to on my thing, but my system is having issues. I've got up on my thing. If you want to put it up there, share it. The key item is that cryonic depth charge for the speed. Plus six percent. Right, because that actually gets you to one twenty-five. You get the you get that just enough bonus to get to there. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try. What's, what, what's the build time on that one? Offhand, I don't even know. I think it's, it's a longer like, build time than the the D35S is like five minutes or three wouldn't minutes. You, well, on on that one, uh, Pegleg, wouldn't you change to the um, we're, plus we're warhead <laughs> two and go to? Um, can you go to six armors that way? Um, I, I could. I, yeah, I could. Because that, how much does it weigh? This thing? Oh, this thing only weighs. Where, where's the weight on this thing? It's ninety. Oh no, it'd probably go over. It, it's yeah, it's it's twelve tons for the D35S. Um, the best way that I found to uh, to deal with uh, is just go to a skirmish, select all skirmish, and then I go to gunboats. Oh, I was just gonna say we're we're twenty two forty seven with it on there. Okay. You're twenty one twenty nine. It's it's not enough time to worry about. Twenty one twenty nine, twenty two forty seven. You know, it's an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, that that was my thought because you got you did gain a little bit more out of that six percent. Yeah. We need to out of five. Okay. All right. Oh, good. Um. All right. I hope I didn't miss anything that I need to go back and delete. I was getting took a leak and grabbed a beer. So, uh, so um, hopefully everything went well while I was gone. Just derpy uh, leveling the ouch. <laughs> all righty. Um, maybe I'll go back and look. Um, all righty. Um, next slide. Oh, you on me again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the right page. One second. There you go. Finally. All right. Uh, we covered this. So uh, let's see what the next one is. All right. Uh, we talked about this before. Um, the only difference is a so 25. How, how much better is that? With 16% uh, increase in damage and a 25% increase in splash. So it seems like some of the larger yeah. clusters you might be able to take them out before they get a second reload um yeah i haven't had any I, issues I, I, taking out how far they're spaced apart currently so maybe in the future yeah the splash you know the additional splash feels a little bit more advantageous than the additional damage so um <clears throat> but they are pricey so um uh, you yeah. know all right, um, let's move on. Charge plasma array. All right. Um, thoughts on this? It, it does uh, it does a lot of things. Um, it's twenty hours twenty hours to put on with an original build, so it's probably twelve, eleven, eleven and a half with it. You know, a refit. Although it is tier eleven, so it's not going to benefit. From oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. You, so you only get the twelve. Uh, I forget what the percentage is with just R and D, not with the lab. So maybe you're going to be, um, um, maybe maybe it's going to be eighteen hours or something like that, um, as opposed to what we're seeing with other stuff. So. I, I suspect that that uh, in the PvP world, those that have uh, winter fangs are refitting to this uh, on those and figuring they're going to pick up the three they use for those in either the TLC or, or somewhere else yet. Okay. Well, they'll probably be in the next bounty. You you would imagine. Given that they that they're for the siege hall as well, I think you're going to see them in the event. I think you're going to see them in pillage again. I think you're probably likely to see them in the master out of the TLC. Uh, yeah, and that's that's a good question. Like, where where do you prioritize everything? If you assume this is going to show up in the TLC, and how fucked you would be if you they don't. I was going to say. Right. Everyone knows what assume means. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
I mean, how fucked would you be if they don't show up? And that's exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd I'd be looking at the siege siege hole first, and and the way the fangs are going anyway. Well, it really doesn't doesn't matter a whole heap at this point in time, as they seem to be doing a pretty fair job on basis without these bloody things, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, um, the issue is, the, the thing that makes it more likely is some of these comments uh, that we're seeing right now makes me more likely to think it's going to show up in a TLC um, because they see people are using them um, outside of the uh, purifier. They're using them in... Um, uh, they're using them on the Winterfang. Yeah, so but what I'm saying is Winterfang is doing a pretty reasonable job at this point in time yeah. without yeah. them. So, you know, personally, let, let, if let's I... be honest, people who have coined the Winterfangs are going to put this on their Winterfangs for a week at least anyway until we need to start putting it on the on the purifiers so they can they can have another week of fun with it on there anyway. Yeah. We can't start building it on the on the purifier yet. Yeah, yeah, it's true as well. But are they going to want to weaken them, or are they going to see that they're they're getting spent that way? And then, because we normally have what three, four, three specials, three, four specials in the TLCs. Um, yes. Considering that the Ares uh, War Engine is not going to be one of them. How many specials are we going to have left um, that could be in a TLC? So it feels like between the combination of those two factors, it seems like there's a chance that this is going to, a good chance that this is going to show up in the uh, in the uh, the TLC, the Crucible. Mm. All right, Derby's trying to get banned. If I, <laughs> and, you know. I've so, got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's cow for damage diffusion. Mm -hmm. Damage yeah, diffusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he's just making sure that you know. I look at who put it before I put block user. So yeah, um, yeah. This this is an odd one. Yeah, I mean, when's the last time we've seen the PVE PVP crossover? Uh, it's been a while. Unless it's just like blanket, you know, you can use this anywhere. Well, maybe they're running out of ideas, or or they're having new ideas. Either way, I'm I'm, I'm not ne I'm not negative on this. I'm just sort does of. Does a does this special look more like a weapon to anyone else than a special? Like the artwork. Well, it looks like it fires nine. Uh, yeah. It also looks like it could be like some sort of, uh, you know, uh, something to reach like a torpedo. <laughs> or, or it looks like something like recharge your cellular battery, uh, battery on your phone. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of possibilities here with the way this is displayed. You know, just boom. You know, it looks or, or a drill or something like that. Uh, it has that sort of look to it as well. So, um, okay, I think we're. Uh, so I just tried. I just saw how long that reef it was and. With the R and D, and I do have a an officer. It was fourteen hours. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So not awful, but not great. Um, do you want to? Uh, I think we're pretty much out of slides. Um, we're past the hour. Um, yeah, we have the consecrator thrower. Um, uh, yeah, it's we don't have the stats for the other one, so. It's I would bet a large sum of money. It's the same as the other, except like 15, 20, 25% worse in damage and everything else is the same. 1,500 I mean, damage, I reckon. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good guess. That's a pretty good guess, actually. Probably. They're creatures yeah. of habit, and they tend to use the same basic formula. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now that they've introduced the splash minimum is something that we look at, that could be something that they reduce. I mean, if they started this yeah. one as 100 and made the next one 75, but they started this at yep. 50 and they made the next one 25, 
um, or that splash two to thirty two. Yeah, they could change the, the maximum on that or something. Yeah, yeah. There's some things that they could change on here that are more complicated than what we've seen historically. So, um, you know, there's more factors here. So, uh, which I sort of like, you know, until we see it. Um, this, this is an interesting weapon because a splasher two is pretty much useless. So you, you're going to want to keep your wind up uh, yeah. activated as much as you can on this one. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, with a splash of two, you're what just hitting the one building you're shooting. Building at? exactly, yeah, yeah. Besides then, of the short range. Well, we can we can increase this with specials too. We assume, right? I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it looks like it I, can be increased. So if I've got a range on my thrower, what is this? The fifty-five or something like that? Fifty-four, 54 range. Yeah. And my splash is 32, and I double it to 64. I can hit something like 110 away. Yep. <laughs> that's, at, that's interesting. At, at 50 percent, probably. But yeah. Yeah. For yeah, that, that's they are putting. And, 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 then, and then they will fix it. Yes. <laughs> what was that? The the wind the the wrath the ring is wrath. That whole I never was doing PvP around then, but. Uh, it was you shot at something on one, on, on one side of the base, probably the rage, one side of the base, and you killed everything on the other side. No, rage does make sense now. Okay. All right, Saint, so do you want to uh, uh, yep. do your sacrificial, sac sacrificial lamb and do the. Uh... Uh, I can do that, yep. Let me just change my screen. Hide all your uh, tabs you got open. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what's her name? I forget the name of the uh never mind. I won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going with four. Did you have a crew on Derpy when you did it? I believe I had a steelheads. When I've been driving, I also ran that silent hunters, the one that gives you, you know, the ten percent combat speed or whatever. Speed, yeah. I don't know how much it actually helped, but um All right, so and where are we going in? What angle? Yeah, yeah, I like that angle right there. Like, yeah, try to go to a, six o'clock, a bit more to the right, actually. But uh, oh, yeah. that's where I drive from at least. So, five I think it's from probably. The auto. So, so like seven, oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to figure out where oh, seven. Oh, well, seven o'clock, okay. Oh, I hope you didn't crash going into the target. Oh. Well, I'm auto in it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, starting out strong, moving directly into the slowdown aura. Just for what we want. You told me no, to go in at 7 o'clock. Yep, I did. <laughs> well, at least miss the, uh, the fire fields. So that wasn't bad. Yeah, so far so good. It's going to yeah. stop right here and get hit by the, some of those. Uh, re, uh, I ran, ran a fire field, but and sitting in the fire field, but that's field. not great. And I didn't see a fire field. Okay, well, yeah, cows can't see I orange or red. I did tell you I'm not very good at auto in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can help you practice. <laughs> Just press the blitz button; your fleet gets better. <laughs> Oh, it's so gone far, so good, right? It's... Rather than the uh, big... now here, if I drive, I go up north. But I... oh, it's doing that too. Look at that. Hey, why are there moving purple circles? That doesn't make sense. Mm, just a mm, error type of the uh, incendiary shells, probably. Now. I, we're used to having the garrison be auto and the siege be the driving, but apparently Kicksize flipped it in this case, and they want us to auto the siege and drive the garrison, which is actually what I was doing, and it was working out quite well. Um, I'd hit 10 garrison targets in a row and log off for eight hours, come back, do another 10, and uh, I'm done with garrison for now. I just have 21 siege left, which I could drive or I could auto. We'll see.
This is the exact path I take driving, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I do try not to stop, but... Uh, As if you try to stop up against the submarines, probably. There's no field. This is not looking too bad, really. Hey, yeah. you're, what's your fleet help in the top left? In, in eighth damage? Yeah, just under. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do this tonight. One hour, I believe, of damage. Hour 15. Probably more. Yeah. One, one, 117. Oh, you can't do that. 104. 104. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, one, oh, oh, seven. I was closer. 107. Better than derpy driving. This is really interesting at this point. Better than me driving when I was tuned, tuned to, to kill you, but whatever. <laughs> it's all good, sir. So six. I get like twenty minutes less of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's turned into a, a decent auto target. What the, so, despite what Billy was saying, that I was like out of line yesterday, asking like. Uh, how is anybody out of this? And then he's like, "No, this is not an auto target." And acting like I was stupid, I was just trying to figure it out. But this seems like a decent auto target relative to driving it. Because how much uh, damage were you taking, Saint, driving it? Um, I was I was only using three when I was driving, and yeah, I was yeah. getting low thirty minutes. Okay, so. Yeah, um, and that that was without a steelhead. So uh, I wonder. Let's and what's just... what's your build there? Uh... Yeah, I'll go into the. Okay. I'll show you. So I've I've got three of them have got complete uh, damage dealers. It's very similar to most of the others. So on this one, I've yep. refit two of the new X and one of the new M. And I've put two of the knuckle dusters on there, but the rest is pretty standard. Okay. Nice. Um, I've done the same on the second ship there. Two knuckle dusters. The anti ship, I've got three and one. Mm -hmm. And I've just put two and one on there as well. And then the fourth ship, which has probably got a little bit more damage. Yeah, it, it does look like it's taken a little more damage. Yeah, so this is at 2.35 left, and this is at 2.25. So it's taken 100,000 extra. So it's, it's well, let's have a look. So that one's got 20 minutes. Compared to the others, have got 15. Okay, wow. So, yeah, the armor's definitely made a difference on auto there. Okay. So what I might do, if we've got time, I might just drop off that one that's not. So I've got 46 minutes on this. So I'll just um, auto one more with three and see what we get from that. All right. So your original repair time is what at this point? 46 and a half minutes for these three. Okay. We just see if it follows the same route, and because um, it shouldn't take, because we say we kill them pretty quickly, shouldn't take too much more damage. Yeah, yeah. but um, okay, go ahead. Well, time to kill. Ninety fours up yet? Uh, time to kill seems a little bit long. on on the ship. It certainly seemed a little bit longer. Would it be this cluster? The, uh, really, that... the one ninety fours will be right back up right after Hank uh, finishes his morning coffee. <laughs> and he's yeah. Well, up. I'd reckon the bathroom <laughs> would be more important than the one ninety fours. What is that? Because uh, of the second he... pep. <laughs> He said he does whatever he can to help players. So I, I'm just taking that at face value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Oop, all right. All good. Yeah, no, 
So it just seems it's the ships that take slightly longer because this this cluster dies pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, especially with the knuckle because you have an additional splash. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, and you're driving and sitting in that. Oh, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, it's almost like that, that second ship just gets one more shot back off because of the s slight additional time to kill. But that would be the only difference, I think. Yeah, no, this is a... Uh... Well, now so the question you, is: Does going down from three to two mean um, mean that it fires a third shot or still only a second? Yeah. I mean, I probably wouldn't run that anyway because you only have one countermeasure ship, so it's not you can't. Well, I've only, like got, you can run yeah, I've only got one here anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I'll be losing quite a bit of my damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you're probably not. Even if this is. Even if this gets the same damage, I'm not going to be able to hit any more targets anyway. Yeah, I've just got, less, just got less repair overall. Yeah, I was running all four this morning. Even if you might take less damage with three, you can get more targets done mm -hmm. with four. So we put four percent on explosive. So it took more pen that time mm -hmm. than explosive, which is strange. Well, explosive goes down because it's mostly splash. One right? forty-nine. So I took an hour three on that one. So it wasn't as efficient. Well, it was. It was better, right? You took less damage. You know, I took, took less one, damage overall. One hundred seven to one. one I put yeah. more. Da I took more damage on those three ships, though. Yeah. Okay. Per ship, per ship, you took per ship. Damage. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I would be able to do more with the with the four ships still. But you could still keep on like, uh, you know, if you had four ships, it would still be more efficient if you swapped out. If you swap ships, he's you know, you know. Well, I did what well, did a little bit of repair while you're. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 While it's sitting around. Yep. So, so, so with the refits, it's not horrendous on auto. No, no. Well, well, well yeah, the refits. Uh, well, they also made a massive change to the game, and re, you know they changed the target completely. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Based on Derpy just shaming them, you know, incredibly. Well, I tried to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was understandable. There was no reason, you know, there was no there reason. Was that, to I mean, the first thing I would do when I make a target for the brood. It was completely it was completely ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous what they had out there the first time. So yeah. All right. So um all right. Um anything else we should discuss or should we uh, head to the after show? All right. I see. Um, but... We've still got no timeline, obviously, on when we're going to see a, a flagship or when we're going to see upgrade kit. I, I, I assume the flagship is not going to be the next raid, but the raid afterwards uh, yep. is my assumption. Um, I was just, yeah, um, probably in a raid rather than a village. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, not not the uh, what's the name of this? Not flagship? the raid next week. But, yeah, you know, the the month. following raid is where yeah because you got the purifier coming next week, haven't you? And then yeah. we get the purifier flagship in the next pillage. Yeah, so not shadow stalker, neighborhood stalker. Which word are we going to keep? Shadow or stalker? And we're going to move on from from one to the next. It's not <laughs> really giving it a long run though. If they're gonna if they're gonna change over in sort of middle of the year you're only gonna yeah, get a well, couple of months out of out of your flag aren't you yep middle of years right right at six months so uh, they could be giving us two garrison holds yeah, yeah. so um uh, yeah okay because they pretty much said that this 
the Brutes are only going to last six months, didn't they? Yeah. Seems yeah. like it. Yeah. We might not have official confirmation on that, but it's a pretty good guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sort of the way it was written, but yeah, it's not 100% because they, uh, the way they phrase things is, you know, it's a, uh, it's a master class in how not to commit to anything. As, uh, you know. And you can't blame it on the fact that their English is a second language. Because they're Canadian? <laughs> or because they're Australian? Which which one? <laughs> I, I'm still waiting for an answer there, KB. <laughs> you know, because some of this is written by Australians as a second language, English. Well, well Australian <laughs> is not English. Okay, and then the Canadians and the Australians speak English. I'm not even getting into that whole Quebec thing, but you know that English. Oh, is the, oh yes, but yeah, is is a second language. I'm 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 fascinated by this whole idea, you know, because you know I, I, I you know, bug fixes. I, I assume. Every time I read bug fixes, I assume English is a second language for everybody involved in that whole process, right? <laughs> and, you know, I I have been dealing with their bug fixes for what five six years, however long I've been dealing with that. But I assume that English is a second language, which I don't, you know, I which is fine. I think you know, I you know. Spanish may be somebody's second language. I, I I don't want to be a bitch about it, but yeah, I, I, I I'm still trying to figure that out. It, it's I'm, I'm highly amused, as you might be able to tell. But um, okay, all right. Do we have anything else to discuss besides uh, Canadians and Australians speak English as a second language? I'll I'll leave it at that. Nope. See y'all on Wednesday. <laughs> and we won't, we won't even get into American English either. Well, 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 well that wasn't brought well, up. I butcher the English language, so. Yeah. Mm. I can't spell properly. We can't. Oh, yeah. We, we don't add the OU on it, uh, you know, color and flavor and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all good. All right, everybody. Thanks for showing up. And, uh, Maybe we'll have spelling lessons at a later point and and whatnot. But uh, thanks for showing up. And uh, I know someone you can invite to that show. Uh, who is that? Oh, you can guess. Okay, I can guess, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> but uh, all right, everybody, thanks for showing up. And uh, most English speakers screw up every chat. Well, yeah. All right. So. Uh, later everybody and uh the link's up there somewhere if you wanted to uh um let's see this is all right there's the invite in case you want to join the after show and um thanks for showing up we will be back uh next wednesday when hopefully we have a little bit more information on the tech tree for the brute I've been promising this for, what, two or three weeks. I'm starting to feel embarrassed by it. I'm just listening to what people tell me at Kickside as far as when it's going to come out. But, yes, I am embarrassed by keep on throwing this out and them not delivering. So It's going to be like know. the Sam Diary. They tell you after you've we've had everything. They give us a timeline after we've had everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is when you got it. Yeah, that, that that wouldn't be good. It's it's not really the purpose of this. So uh, you'll see it on the next strategy guide. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and in twenty twenty four. Yeah. So uh, all right, people, thanks, and uh, we'll be back uh, next Wednesday. And thanks for showing up. Bye. See you, everyone.